Hey family, I wanted to apologize. Uh, I'm back with part two of this video. I'm so sorry. I promised to do part two the same day that I, I did part one, uh, the Church of Satan. And I just got so busy with family and doing things that I didn't get around and I didn't get a chance to do it. And I want to go ahead and do it. So let's get into it. What I saw was uh, when I was making the first video that a lot of big time influential people who helped shape our society was a part of this church of satan so when you go to wikipedia when you go to wikipedia and they give you some information on it first i wanted to bring your attention to how it says the church of satan describes its structural basis as a cabal and i'm going to get into that at the end of this video um uh, so just hang in to the end. It says the church of Satan promotes itself as the only authentic repre representation of Satanism. Like they don't even, if you're outside of them and you say you're a Satanist, they're like, you can't sit with us. We're not, we're not even acknowledging you. Okay. So they're the only representation of Satanism and routinely publishes materials underscoring this connection so while they say they're the only one they will put out material that is discrediting it that's that's just the order deception it says the church rejects the legitimacy of any other organizations who claim to be satanists because they the only ones in their eyes <laughs> this is so crazy so let's get into this whole church of satan and let's get into the the members of it and by the way this thing i saw this thing said they have a satanic mass like what what uh, i just don't get it i don't understand people i just don't understand why would you why would you want to do something like that but anyway let's get into the influential figures now some of these names i did not know so i did not add them in the video i only wanted to do names that i did know so as you can see it's frederick a and Hubert Spencer, I didn't know him. Arthur Desmond, I didn't know him. I did know Charles Dorman, Sigmund Freud, Niccolo Machiavelli, Carl Joe William, something, Will, William Rich, P.T. Burnham, knew that one. Uh, Alastair Crowley, knew that one. And, and the list goes on and on. And we got Helena Belaski. I always mess her name up. I knew that one. Oh, look at old Ben Franklin. Knew that one. H.P. Lovecraft. Knew that one. And the list goes on and on. These are just some of the biggest of the biggest names of these people. And I wanted to pull you up there a little bit of information on these people in case you know them but you don't know them or you, this is your first time hearing about them. So the first one that, that that piqued my interest on this list was Charles Darwin. And he um he is the man of evolution. Charles Darwin, a Satanist. He is the one that told us we descend from monkeys and that God did not make us. Now it makes sense. Now we have the missing pieces of the puzzle. Look, he, he is the evolutionary man. He's he told the whole world that we came from monkeys. And guess what? This report said, and th the whole world accepted it. Look, look, read this. It says, Charles Robert Doran was an English nat naturalist, geologist, and biologist, best known for his contributions to evolutionary biology. His, propos his proposition that all species of life have descended from common ancestors is now widely accepted and considered a fundamental concept in science. So there you have it. Satanists cannot acknowledge that God made man because he don't even believe in God. He does not worship God. He worships Satan. So yeah, then this was put in school books. This was taught to the whole wide world. Well, we came from monkeys. You know, you got people arguing over this stuff and there, the information comes from none other than a Satanist. It makes sense now. Like it makes sense. Who's next? The next one is Sigmund Freud. 
this was a very big time name. This this dude was re really big back in the day. Here's some of his about information. If you want to pause the screen and just read a little bit about his about information, if you don't want to go to Wikipedia. Other than that, this dude was known for, I'll read you a little bit. It says Sigmund Freud was an Austrian neurologist and the founder of psychoanalysts, a, a clinical method for evaluating and treating pathologies in the psyche. So this man, a Satanist, was famous for treating people for mental conditions. Like, are you serious right now? Are you even serious right now? You a whole Satanist and you telling us what's wrong with us. And they were famous and these people were famous. I mean, they helped shape the world. You got Niccolo Machiavelli, Machiavellian, however you pronounce that. This dude was famous for uh, writing his book called The Prince. I'm on the people who asked part, The Prince in 1532. And it said it brought him a reputation as an atheist and an immoral cynic. An atheist and an immoral cynic. He put, he put that out there. But yet, you know, they was famous. They was famous. Then we got old P.T. Barnum. P.T. Barnum, a Satanist. This guy was famous for, you guessed it, Barnum and Bailey Circus, a whole Satanist. As you can see there, right there, it says Barnum, I'm right there where it says Barnum and Bailey Circus. Yep, a whole Satanist. A whole Satanist, but let's keep going. Let's keep going. Of course, we know Alester Crowley. He the one who founded this whole thing. He is the man who tells people to do as thy will. That is their motto. These Satanists love that. And they have celebrities like Drake that is, is pushing this in a different form. Where Drake is telling you, YOLO, you know, you only live once. Do, do it. You might as well do it. Because you only live once. They got artists like Meg Thee Stallion telling you, oh, live your hot girl summer. Go out there, you know, just do do what you got to do. Let, let it all hang out. Let you know, dress promiscuous. Let it all hang out. Live your hot girl summer. Do, do as thou will. They don't. They believe you can do whatever you want to do because you are God. This is, this is how they think. So, Alester Crowley, this dude was good in, um, conjuring spirits and demons and black magic and rituals and all of this stuff like that. And he founded the organization. He was one, he see, he founded the religion. Identify himself as the prophet and the mountaineer. So that's crazy. Anyway, so you've probably heard of Alester Crowley, um, books. They push these people heavily, even though they're passed away, they still push them heavily. All right. Who we got next? Helena Balaskovi. I can't never say her name. Now, this woman, I had no idea was a Satanist. I actually had some of her books, but you know how that ended for me? I ended up not even calling on the name of Jesus because reading this stuff gets your head so messed up. I didn't even know this lady was a Satanist. And so... This, I wanted to make sure I added her to the list because a lot of people probably have read her work and not knowing these people are like, these are the kind of people who throw the rock and hide the hand. Like you got to know because there's, they told you we're in a cabal. A cabal is like a secret society. So, and they said, and we're going to even deny it. So like we'll, we'll, we'll put it out there, but, and we won't accept nobody else, but at the same time, we're going to deny it too. And so she wrote a, a lot of books about mysticism, esoteric, esoteric things and things like that. Had no idea. I was reading the work of a Satanist, but as you see, it did not work in well for me. And God himself had to come back and get me like, you, you're doing too much. You're doing too much. And I thank God for that. I thank him that he didn't give up on me. This is one of her most famous pictures. I ain't going to even leave it up on the screen long. I don't even like looking at these people like that, but I just wanted you to see when they push her a lot in the media, it's usually this picture right here. Then look at that. Ben Franklin, Benjamin Franklin. 
made their famous list as a Satanist in the Church of Satan. They put this guy on the money. They had the nerve to put a Satanist on the money and then put on the money in God we trust. Make that make sense. How do you trust in God? And it's a whole Satanist. So the question is, in which God are you trusting? Because you're not talking about Yahweh of heaven. You're talking about one of the, the, the small G gods, but you ain't talking about Yahweh of heaven because you don't even believe in him. They put a whole Satanist on the money and then put on the money in God we trust. And I just go, wow, really? This this is this is this is really what we're doing. We're putting Satanists on money and we it, and now it makes sense. Let me go back to that. Hold on, let me go back to that. Now it makes sense. Why also on the money, on the back of it, you got the all C and I. You got the you got the pyramid. It, it, it is it's all making sense. It all makes sense. Things that never really made sense. It, it is starting to make sense. These guys are Satanists. These guys help shape humanity. What will be from now, way back when, is still what's going on. Now, these guys were so influential that we're still carrying on their teachings and things like that, even right today. Famous Satanists. The next guy was H.P. Lovecraft. This guy was famous for doing, um, for doing... What's the movie? Terror movies, like scary movies and stuff like that. And um, see, it says he, his horror, weird fiction and horror. Okay, so that's what he was known for. Of course, and so now it makes sense. And now you see how Christian people, we're not extra when we say, turn off those scary movies. Because in those scary movies, what they know that you don't realize is the it's the back noise. And when you're watching a movie like The Conjuring, when you're watching a movie like The Country, man, look at this. Like, who would even want a picture of that? When you're watching a movie like The Country and they begin to say these demons' names and you got people crawling all on the floor and they chanting this stuff, that's real stuff. And it's coming through your speakers in your house. The Holy Spirit helped me stop watching uh, scary movies because there was times I would watch scary movies and you know the, how the back of your hair on your neck stand up? Well, the, my, the pit of my stomach will begin to just churn like something is not right. Something is in this room with me. And it after a while of doing that, I said, I'm not watching this stuff no more. I'm not watching this stuff no more. And it was just this year that I saw an uh, ex-Satanist go on uh, YouTube and say that these people are putting real live spells into these movies, just like the Get Out movie. When the lady is doing that scene where she is clicking on the cup with the spoon and she's tap, 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 that's a hypnosis spell. That's a hypnosis spell. And you're thinking, oh, this is just a good movie. This is just a good movie. No, these people are putting black magic. They're saying real demons' names in these movies. And it's the back noise, the undertones of when you hear something, you're thinking that's not quite sounding right. But you're not really picking up on it. But guess what? Your spirit is picking up on it. Your eyes is picking up on it. And they know that. And this affects you. The Bible says the light of the body is in the eyes. It says that if your eyes be dark, then your whole body be dark. So what you you're watching on TV makes a big difference. Look at this man. He's in a pentagram, in a demonic pentagram, probably with Leviathan. And this just, this just is sick. It's just sick. So I urge you, if you're watching those movies, God bless you. Be careful. I got away from that. I got away from that. I'm going to finish that scripture. It says, but if your light, if your eyes be light, then your whole body is light. So that's why I make sure now I only try to watch Christian stuff. I only listen to Christian music because even this stuff is put into the music, even just the frequencies. They have learned how to adjust the frequencies to affect your emotions. Like this stuff ain't no joke. I, I, I hate to always sound like I'm preaching to the choir, but it's so serious because I've been affected by this stuff before. So I know that this stuff is real. <laughs> 